Welcome to another simulation, a performance-based question. This is a drag and drop we'll do today for crimping network cables and terminating network cables. Okay, let's read the uh, scenario. You are tasked with crimping cables at a job site. Okay, instructions. Number one, select the appropriate termination. So here, number two, select the appropriate crimper over here. And a little disclaimer note for people who are experts about doing this, not all the objects will be used. And part of this exercise is simplified for testing purposes. It may not be 100% all the steps, but I'm just kind of simplifying it so people can learn the different tools and what we use. Okay, so part one, Take a look at the different um, interfaces here, the terminations that we have. Do they look familiar to you? You should know these if you're studying for the A plus exam. Okay. And we have the different cable types here and different tools, or I guess we'd say crimpers. Do those look familiar? So what's your gut feeling right now? How do you feel? Okay, so let's get into it. Um, before we decide on a termination, let's look at the cables. So the first cable we have here has four different strands. This one has eight. And this one looks totally different from the other ones, don't they? Okay, so if you know what kind of cables those are, you'll know what kind of terminations they have and interfaces. All right, let's get into it. So uh, off the bat, I can tell you that the first cable is smaller, right? It's only four strains, and this one's eight. So what do you think here? Let's go with the one that has four ends. That should match. Okay. And it's going to delete you. Where's my delete button? There it is. Okay. So that's four for four. That matches. I mean, that's just logic, right? Great. So then we're going to follow the other logic. We're going to use eight here. And then we just eliminated two answers. So this one has to be used. And be, and be careful, not all objects will be used. Okay. Uh, and then the last one will be a straight tip. So let's talk about these terminations. Do you know the names of them? It's quite important. So this is an RJ11 jack or a telephone line. So it's for a smaller cable, older technology. Okay, this one's an RJ45 that's used for a network cable, pretty standard that you would see in an office. And this one's a straight tip that's used for optical fiber. So all three of these terminations are being used for these cables. Okay, so that's, we're done with this first task in instruction one. Okay, instruction two. Uh, what do we see here? Does anything jump out at you? I did say that not all objects will be used. So we're only going to use two of these objects. We're going to use one twice. So if you've ever terminated or crimped a cable, you would know that maybe like this, you would know that um, this standard crimper is used for both the RJ45 and RJ11. It's used in the same way to push down on those ends and make that cable secure and tight. Can I copy this? Uh, can I paste? Okay, I pasted it, great. All right, so then that leaves us with just optical fiber, the straight tip. Now I did say that I simplified things. Uh, being able to strip fiber and to guide it and to terminate it, uh, you don't quite use the same crimper. Um, we have a stripper here, and then we have, a, this is called a guide, guide box, I believe, or fiber guide box. Um, since these are already stripped, they're already open. So we don't need a stripper. That was a trick. Okay, and then process of elimination, the only one left is this guide box. Fiber is a bit different. You will have to strip it and then put it through a guide box and then 
um, get the straight tip or the SC or the LC or whatever kind of kibble it is and make sure it's fastened in tightly. There's a few more steps to securing fiber optics, but for this test, um, the simulation, I just want to simplify it a bit. And now you can see visually what you would use. Well, I hope that helps. Let's go over the different names again and review them. So this is the RJ11, RJ45, this is straight tip, and these are crimpers, and that's a guide box. I hope you learned something new or you have more confidence now in yourself. Thank you for watching, and good luck on your exam.